belly parrot is a small migratory parrot. There's only a few of those in the world and they all occur here in Australia. And so in order to try and secure the population in the wild, there's been some captive breeding programs that have been building up numbers in captivity so that they can be released into the wild and supplement the, the last remaining birds so that they have a, a better chance of survival in the long term. So what we're hoping is that we can establish small populations of the orange bellied parrot on the mainland in these sites during the winter and that they will attract some of the birds migrating up from Tasmania to join these groups and by that way improve their survival over the winter period and increase their chance of making it back to Tasmania to breed in the next breeding season. So a lot of time and effort goes into breeding these birds. You know, it's a huge conservation effort and you can breed as many birds as you like and release them. But if you don't understand what happens to those birds once they're released, it could all be for nothing. So you would never learn about what it is that they're doing, how they're surviving or what, what you might be able to do to actually reduce the, the impacts of things that are happening to these birds when they release. Well, we're hopeful that a drone will allow us to cover a lot more of the potential area in which the birds could be occupying, um, so we can more efficiently keep track of their movements. Um, we're also hopeful the drone will allow us to sort of explore some of the more, more general area and try and locate some of those birds that seem to have gone missing and that we don't know about their whereabouts. So often the animals will start dispersing and exploring more and more areas and that's when you start to get missing animals and it's a huge problem because what happens is then you end up spending all of your time searching for one or two animals and, and not really being able to concentrate on, on the job that you're trying to do. With the drone we were able to come in and verify for them that they're not just along the coast or around the corner. We're able to give them a lot of confidence on where these animals are not located by being able to go to areas that they can't access on foot and uh, just search extensive areas of coastline really rapidly has been a real game changer for the project in terms of the confidence that you're covering an area because to do it by foot is way too prohibitive um, in terms of time and effort and sometimes it's just not physically possible. So using the drone actually makes, makes that possible again.